Um, I already made this video earlier, but for some reason the camera didn't save it, so I have to do a remake over. So I'm probably this video won't be the same as the first one, but uh, rapper E Day got shot last night. You know what I'm saying? He got shot twice in the back based on the reports that I've seen. And uh, it's kind of fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I fuck with E Day, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit up here and say that I'm a fan of his music. I, I mean, I ain't going to sit up here and say I'm a fan of him, but I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Like, I don't necessarily fuck with him heavy, but I fuck with him something slight. You know, something slight, not major. Like, oh man, favorite artist? Nah, it's something slight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, notably, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he's he's part of this, he's part of Team 600 with LA Capone and shit like that. That's a person that, you know, that I fucks with heavy. You feel me? Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, which is also, which Team 600 is a affiliate group of, of GBE and OTF, all them niggas and shit. So, you know, all of them are like, you know, are like together, or whatever. But yeah, man, it's kind of fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember when I, like, um, a year and a half ago, I had took a trip to, I had took a trip to Chicago and I was playing his album, uh, came, uh, came Up From Nothing or whatever like that, you know, you know, I mean, well, I mean, not album, a mixtape. And the vibe of that album fit the atmosphere of the city, like, the vibe of that album fit the atmosphere of the city because I don't know it's just it's just it's just that album fit the vibe of like downtown Chicago all the big buildings and shit like it just like it just it just fit the vibe uh yeah yeah so it was lit man you know what I'm saying and you know um okay if you if you guys want to give if you guys want me to give you some recommendations list his mixtape came from nothing and his two mixtapes titled Team 600 Part 1 and Part 2 um you know dope dope tapes whatever like that you know what I'm saying um and you know uh on and on the tapes Team 600 Seed uh, E-Day was a big contribution to them tapes no no bullshit but um yeah man you know um I fuck with his music you know shit like that uh, I remember I had posted I remember I had said some shit on Twitter and I had added his name and he had retweeted my tweet and shit and then even and then um I got a video on here titled um One Piece is Racist and I got his song in the video. So you know I felt either slightly <sighs> the video man is gonna be top I mean like so that's unfortunate man. RP to E Day man um I don't understand how like like, you know, these Chicago rappers still choose to live in the city after they already know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you live in the, like, okay, you're a Chicago rapper, you make drill music, which means that you diss dead ops all the time in your music. You got money. The, those are two factors right there that make you a target C because you're dissing people's homies and you got money. Even people that necessarily you didn't diss will try to kill you because you got money. So now you got two, now you're a target for those two reasons. But yet, these Chicago rappers or, or rappers in general still choose to live in these areas. It's like, what, dude, don't, don't you know what's going to happen if you live here? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the blatant ignorance in the black community. I, I don't get it. You know, I'm sorry to be sorry to be sorry for this. Sorry for what I'm about to say, but it's true. Um, a lot of gang members are really not smart. A lot of gang members are really, in my opinion, retarded because you already know. Hey, you know, and it's crazy because you know it's a cycle. E Day made songs dissing people, right? You know, you know, Lil JoJo and Tuka and all that shit. And now somebody's gonna diss E Day. Now that he's dead, watch this. It's it's, it's 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 um it's gonna be some new rapper that this is E Day, and then somebody's gonna is somebody's gonna kill that nigga, and then the fucking next nigga is gonna diss that nigga, and then some and, and you know and then and then somebody kill that nigga, and then somebody gonna make this song about that motherfucker. It's gonna be a fucking continuous cycle. I don't understand, man. I don't understand, man. Like, like you know, honestly, man. What is the deal with hip hop? I mean, like, what is the deal with hip hop? Like, does does um does 
hip hop music have a curse around it? Like, is there like a curse around hip hop? Because if you notice, um, hip hop is the only art form where, you know, musicians die constantly back to back to back to back. This is the only art form where musicians of this particular art form die back to back to back to back to back to back. No other art form goes through this. And this is what um, Lord Jamar said on Vlad TV a few years back. He said, hip hop is only art form where motherfuckers die constantly. Like, think about it. Rock and roll. Motherfuckers don't get killed like that. Jazz. Country. Tecmo. Uh, whatever. Uh, electronica. Whatever art form there is. Motherfuckers don't get killed like that. Only motherfucker that got killed really, really that I'm aware of in rock and roll was fucking John Lennon. And that was a huge death. You know, that was huge. But typically in rock and roll and other art forms, motherfuckers don't get killed like that. Even R&B, hip hop is the only art form where, where rappers die on a regular basis. Like it's nothing. Like like it's not like it's not uncommon for every single year for at least one rapper to get shot. <laughs> it's just what it is. Like I don't get it, man. Only art form, man. You know, and especially with these drill rappers. I'm a firm believer of what you put out is what you attract. So if you're making these diss songs. This shit's gonna happen to you, dog. Like you over here dissing, you over here dissing somebody. It's gonna happen to you, man. And this is why I said gang people are really ignorant and retarded because they know what's gonna happen if you know if they decide to do this, but they do it anyway. I'm the kind of motherfucker to where if I know, hey, if I go in the studio and make a diss song about somebody, and I seen. Other motherfuckers do it and they die. Maybe I'm not gonna do that. Chicago motherfuckers and I mean shit. Yeah, uh, Chicago niggas. Oh fuck that. Hop in the booth. Nigga, I'm smoking on that pack. Nigga, I'm smoking on that pack. Nigga, I'm smoking on that pack. I'm smoking, smoking, smoke. Nigga, smoking on that pack. Now I'm smoking, smoking, smoke. You know what I'm saying? After they already know what's gonna happen if they do that, they do it anyway. They don't give, bro. I don't. Oh my goodness, man. Don't get it, man. How? People are just blatantly ignorant. Just blatantly being a fool. You know? Don't understand, man. You know? Um, and to be honest, man, like, I, you know, uh, at this, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. And, you know, even, even rappers' fans encourage them to make this kind of music. Because Tay 600 said that, said that his numbers took a decline... When he started to make songs not dissing motherfuckers, because fans like the because fans like the drama, drama sells, beef sells, so fans like that shit. And a fan will, you know, and a fan will 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 um, literally stop listening to you if you don't talk that fucking bullshit, you know, in your music, because fans want to hear that shit. And that's why I said that a lot of these rappers fans or a lot of fans don't, you know, don't really have the best interest of the artist because I'm a person that wants to have the best interest of a person. I don't just say, oh, yeah, I like your music, but fuck you. You know, you know, there's um, there's folks like that where they um, where they like what you do, but they don't like you or they don't have your best interests. So, oh yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I fucking, I fucking fuck with the music, but the same, the same shit that I want Texas Hunter to promote is the same shit that, that that's, that, that's, that, that, could, that, that get him killed, but fuck that. I want him to go in the booth and, and talk about smoking fat head, Lil Mark and all these other motherfuckers that, you know, that they rap about. You know, which lets you know that, that these fans don't, you know, don't have the best interests at heart for the for these artists. You know, because I'm a person that cares for the well-being of my artists. You know. But anyways, man, you know, um, uh, you know, sorry, this video isn't isn't as good isn't as good as the first one that I just made. You know, the goddamn camera didn't save it for some reason. So this video is kind of like a like a lame like it's like a lame version of the first one. But fuck it. Um, but, but yeah, man, you know what, man? At this point, you know, honestly, at this point, man, um, I'm just kind of tired of like this. Is why 
to be honest, I don't really address black issues anymore because black people are just going to go right back out to the same shit again. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they finna, they finna go right back out to the same shit again. Watch how watch, watch, there's going to be a new nigga hop in the booth and make a, make a fucking diss song, dissing somebody. Same shit is going to happen to his ass. It's going to be the same fucking shit, man. So... <laughs> Um, that's all I gotta say, man. R.P. to E-Day. Sucks, man. It's your boy to sizzle, you know what I'm saying?